Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel S Handmade Cards. Here is a small tutorial on how to make an acetate envelope. So let's get started. Yay! Okay, so first I'll be taking a small card that is five by five inches and a big card that is eight by eight inches. Then I'm showing you a simple way to make an envelope using the card. So what you have to do is place the card in the center and fold the flap from all four sides. You have to fold the sides. So I'm marking the points and then I'll be showing you how to fold the sides. If you have a scoreboard, you can use your scoreboards too. But uh, since I like to make tutorials based on beginner level, so I'll be showing you how to make an envelope in the easiest way. So now we are done with our four sides. We'll cut the ends just like I'm showing you. And we are done. Now I'll take an acetate sheet of same size that is 8 by 8 inches and I'll place it above the card. It is easy to fold the acetate sheet with the help of the card. So here I am folding my sheet. Just hold it firmly so that the sheet doesn't move at all. That's it. We are done here. We have. Uh, I am using a bone folder to mark the creases. Now we'll repeat the steps. That is cutting the edges. on all four sides isn't it easy this is how we make the base of our envelope okay now what I'll do is I'll just fold the creases properly with the help of a bone folder Done. Now to create our shaker what I'll do is I'll cut acetate sheets for the center part and the top part. Yeah like that. You can take the help of your base card to cut the acetate shakers. Okay, now we'll do the stitching part. First of all, I'm stitching the edges of my envelope from all three sides that we are going to fold. I'm using my grandmother's old uh, sewing machine, so bear with me. This part is optional. If you don't want to stitch, you can make the envelope uh, in the center part and then you are done. But I like to give more detailing to my envelope so I like to stitch all the three edges. And we are done. Now I'll place the center part and start stitching in the center. I'll just stitch the three sides and will leave the front side so that I can fill my shakers inside it. Now I'm doing the same on the top. I'm stitching the below part and the side. And I leave one side to fill my shakers.
okay now that's the best part making your sequence mix so i'm mixing like white some light blue some yellow pinks and all the vibrant tones and then i'm using some rings too for the shaker elements and then for the top part i'm using my heart shaker slices from dress my craft okay so we are done with the uh, sequence mix now i'll stitch the remaining part okay so the stitching part is done and a shaker acetate envelope is half ready now what we have to do is just fold the creases once again so that it can fold properly from all our three sides and just leave the uh, shaker side now i'm using a tacky tape here to stick the sides It's a double sided tacky tape uh, for sticking acetates it's better to use a tacky tape that is transparent so that it's not visible now it's very important that you crease the tacky tape so that it can stick properly Uh, envelope is almost ready now i'll just punch a hole and place an eyelet now comes the embellishment part so i'm using my ruffled border you can check out the tutorial of how to make an uh, ruffled embellishment on my instagram page and now i'm just layering up the embellishments and we are almost done Okay. So, do try it and don't forget to tag us to get featured on our page. Toodles.